What's up guys, Dennis here, hope you're doing good. Uh, in today's video, I wanna do a review of my new dope ass dip bar. So, um, really quick, if you are in the market for a dip bar, a dip bar station for your gym or your home gym or something like that, there's a couple of things that you should consider. Um, when I was initially looking at uh, a dip bar on Amazon, saw a bunch of different ones, tons of options if you've, uh, if you've already been on Amazon and looked them up. There are a lot of, um, a lot of small dip stations, right? Um, that's the first thing that I picked up. I did not want to get something that was so small that uh, it would be uncomfortable to do dips in the case that it's just uh, an awkward position, it's too low, um, it might put a lot of strain on my shoulders, something like that. It wasn't going to feel like a natural, kind of like a safe movement. That was number one. And number two, I needed enough clearance off of the ground to make sure that I could use the weighted belt and not have an issue, right? I didn't want to be uncomfortable. I didn't want to feel like I was stuck or in an awkward position trying to knock out dips, right? So biggest thing was the height, right? The height of the dip bar. Um, saw a bunch of different ones that were all in a decent range, 40, 50 bucks, something like that. But they were small, right? So if you're gonna look into one, I would highly recommend that you look at one um, that's this height. Now I am 5'10", and I don't know if you can tell, the top of this corner right here is about two, two and a half inches lower than my shoulder, just to give you a, a reference, right? So most of them that I saw were probably about another foot foot or so shorter than this based off of the measurements uh, that you can see on Amazon and the descriptions for those products. So the biggest thing you need to consider is the height. I wanted to get something that was future-proofed, meaning I could add as much weight as I wanted to, um, I was not going to have an issue with clearance on the ground with, um, with the weight belt and that someone else that was heavier than me or taller than me can use it. And essentially with those things being checked off, I knew that I would never have to buy another dip bar again. And that's what I was looking for. Now, pricing wise, you'll probably find them between 40 something and, and like 200, even up to $200 that I saw, uh, for pretty much a similar, similar thing. So I paid, I believe 50 something for this one. I believe the, the regular price was like in the 70s, but um, I actually checked uh, previous to this video. Um, there, you can find them still in like in the 50s, because when I bought it, there was uh, I think like a deal or something for Black Friday or something like that going on. But you could even get them for like probably 50, 60 bucks, which is a great price for something that you're gonna buy one time. Now, uh, the build quality is also super important. This thing is solid, solid, solid. You you can tell when you're setting it up and and putting it together that it's not gonna. You're never going to have an issue with it. It's going to outlast, it'll probably outlast you. Um, so those are the two biggest things, height and build quality. Make sure that you get something that you're not going to have to buy again later. That's the biggest thing. And for the price, there's no reason why you should go for anything cheaper um, because of the problems that I mentioned earlier. So with this, I know that I don't have an issue. Um, setup was a breeze. It comes with a bunch of bolts and and nuts are super easy to install. It comes with a little Allen wrench too that you can uh, that you can use and put everything together in about 10 minutes. Um, it'll be easier if you had pliers or something like that to hold one bolt while you tighten the other. So I would recommend that. But I put this together in about 10, 15 minutes by myself, and uh, I loved it. After the first the first dip, I realized that you know I got something solid. It was what I was looking for in the price range, and I know that I'm not going to have to get something else. Um, and I also got this, uh, this dip belt as well. Um, and later in the video, I'll show you kind of how it looks and talk a little bit more about it. And I'll put a link in the description as well. I'll probably do a review video on that as well if you want to see that. But I highly recommend this, this, uh, this uh, dip belt as well. Uh, but overall, I got no complaints. It's a good size, perfect height. And um, also what I like about it is that while it's solid, it's not super heavy. So I think it's about 20 pounds or so. You can lift it up easily and move it around if you want to get it away, put it in a closet, put it in a garage, put it in a corner of a room so you can put it away out of the way you know, when you're not using it. But I have no complaints. and I'm very, very, very particular about the things that I buy. I don't like to buy twice. I don't return things. Um, and I make sure that everything that I get is future proof so I don't have to regret buying something and then having to buy something again in the future because I skimped out um, trying to save a couple bucks. So highly, highly recommend this one. Um, I'll put the link in the description for this one because interesting enough, there's a lot of basically the same one or very, very, very similar ones under different random names. So 
Um, I'll put the, uh, the link to this one in the description. Um, what we can do now is I want to show you a little bit of, uh, of an up close so you can see the build quality and uh, the one gripe that I do have about this dip bar, not, it's not serious at all, but I do want to mention it. I did see it in the, the comments of people mentioning something about it um, prior to purchasing it and then when I put it together then I realized what they were talking about, but not a huge deal at all, but I, I will mention it since it is a review video and I'll put it there just so you're aware of it, but it's not something that's, you know, um, really working against uh, the dip bar in itself or something that, you know, bothers me that you're going to notice, but I will include it in the video. So let me show you a little bit of an up close so you can see the build quality and uh, the number one or the only one uh, gripe that I have with the dip bar. All right, guys. So as I said, I want to show you a little bit of an up close of the dip bar itself. I always appreciate that when people do that in review videos so you can have a better idea of what things look like and even like build quality materials and that sort of thing and color. So um, as you can tell here, it's uh, basically like a, like a charcoal gray. And these things are, are solid while they're hollow. Um, they're super solid. And you have here these, these welded kind of panels here to help with the, uh, with the stability and make sure that this doesn't bend down or anything like that when someone is uh, doing some dips. Um, now you got these bolts here. They go through each end. As I mentioned before, I would recommend that you use pliers. It does not come with that when you purchase it and get everything in the box. So it was a bit tough to get the, the bolts to tie in after a certain point. But overall this thing is, is super solid. I have no complaints with it. Um, and as you see here, there are some foam pads here at the end, um, which are super comfortable. And what I do like also is that the bar is uh, at a perfect thickness. Like I don't have big hands, but um, it's about the thickness, a little thicker than what you would have like on a pull-up bar, like in a park or something like that, right? Um, and I like that because when the bars are too thin, I feel like it hurts your, your palms and it doesn't feel natural where this is thick enough to, you know, to provide you with a nice solid grip. Um, and it feels natural and comfortable. Um, and also, these uh, these panels here, these bars right here, um, are pretty long. So you can do dips right here in the center, or you can go pretty far out. And it just feels comfortable. It gives you enough clearance while you're doing um, the dips so that you don't feel like you're kind of trapped or in an awkward position. And also, the, um, the distance between these two... Um, arms right here are are perfect um, I have zero zero complaints with it it just feels natural feels solid and actually look forward to to doing dips I leave this out and I every once in a while so I'll walk by it and I just do a set of dips just because it's there it's easy to move around and uh, I love it and then also of course you have this middle panel right here this middle bar that uh, keeps everything in place and these legs are super long and they provide a lot a lot of stability so you don't have to worry if you if you're doing uh dips with a bit of momentum like i like to do um it holds everything in place so you never feel like things are wobbling or anything like that now the only only gripe that i did mention that i did want to show you is this little guy right here so while you do have these two bolts here holding everything there is a, a gap on each side here um you can't see it now but if i lift this up you might be able to tell so it has a little bit of a wobble and I don't know if you can hear it that is the only gripe I saw that people mentioned that uh, in the comments and I didn't think it would be a big deal and after I set it up I realized what they were talking about but not a big deal at all you can shove something in there if you want to even the little the little wrench that it comes with it actually fits uh, nicely in there and I, I've actually tested it if you wanted to leave it in there so that it doesn't have that wobble um, but you actually don't even notice the wobble at all when you're actually doing dips because all of your weight is hanging down and it's pressing down here so you don't have any wobble but just so you know that that's there not a huge deal I think maybe there's like a little of a, uh, alignment uh, issue with the bolts and that's on on both sides 
both sides, so um, they could have fixed that. Um, but no big deal. Uh, that's the only issue that I had with it. But other than that, I love it. Um, highly recommend it. And uh, again, I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, can't do a, uh, a dip bar review video without banging out a couple a couple dips. So let's get on to that. Here we go. Anyways guys, hope that helps and uh, hope you got something out of the review video. It would have helped me out. I didn't see any review videos on this particular dip bar. But again, I uh, highly recommend it. I'll put it in the description for you if you want to check it out. And if you have any comments or questions, comment below. And uh, I'll try to uh, jump in there and help you out. So again, hope you guys got something out of that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.